Hey guys, so I want to give you a brief update on the future of the SciCraft server in my channel. So the plan right now is to update the server to 1.18 around February. So this could be late January as well or early March, but somewhere within this time frame. And we have, we have big plans for the server. We're gonna keep playing this world, but with a twist. So if you look at the old 1.12 world here with all the piston balls and all the old farms, the old storage system and so on, there is very little that we can actually use if, if we're gonna update to 1.18. It's gonna be an yeah, entirely different game. So that's why we decided to start over again, but with the same world. So the plan at the moment is to go out roughly 20,000 blocks and start a new settlement where we're gonna do everything from scratch again. So start with no resources, build all the farms again, because we would need to do that anyway, how much the game has changed, and still play the same world. So we will also have the opportunity to go back to the old settlement here, centered around spawn, and maybe get some of the bedrock items, or if we need a ton of items, like we farmed 100 million ice, don't think we want to do that again, then we can also bring those over to the new settlement. So we don't need to do everything from scratch again. So what we also prepared lately was the spawn area. So there was some discussion if we're gonna move the spawn chunks as well to the new area, but yeah, people were against it. I was in favor, but we decided to keep those spawn chunks here. And what we prepared is this. So in case you would update your old worlds to 1.18, it will generate new caves below the old terrain unless you basically get skyblock conditions where all the bedrock at Y0 was removed. And that's what we've done for the spawn chunks. So in case we're gonna update now, uh, this is basically just gonna stay the same. We're gonna have new caves around this area, but this will, yeah, remain the same. We're just gonna have 64 blocks more of air below. We're also not gonna go straight from 1.12 to 1.18. We have to update the world in steps anyway to make sure everything is converted correctly. But we're also gonna play a little bit in 1.14 for maybe a week or two in order to get some OP armor. So for a while in 1.14 it was possible to put multiple protection enchantments on your gear. So you could have protection for, and then on top of that, blast and fire protection, etc. Which in some situations is gonna help you survive a little bit longer. Then we also want to stop at 1.17 real quick in order to get some deep slate coal ore. So it is probably going to only be like a weekend or a day or two um, where we get a double chest of deep slate coal ore. It's still possible to get those items in 1.18, but it's so much rarer than 1.17. So in order to achieve our goal of get uh, a double chest of each item, we're going to yeah, stop 1.17 for a while. Okay, but then we're going to update to 1.18. Really looking forward to that. In order to fully focus on SciCraft again, we also decided to not keep playing on a peaceful server anymore, since we pretty much achieved all we had in mind there anyway. So this was a lot of fun playing here. I got two episodes left to be released, they've already been recorded, but that's it for the peaceful server. Before we update the SciCraft server to 1.18, there will be another mini-series on my channel and also the other SciCrafters will stream it on Twitch. I'm gonna start this today, the 4x4 Chunk Challenge. So I will release another video today, later, that will go into a bit more detail what this challenge is about, but the gist is we're only gonna have 4x4 chunks available in each of the three dimensions and we just want to play the vanilla game and see how far we can push it. So it's going to be quite challenging to only work with this limited amount of space because all the farms we want to make will be centered in one area and that's why we need to make it spawn proof and also we're going to not have uh, unlimited space so we also need to make sure that our farms are space efficient and there's also a couple challenges uh, that I put in here. So we're going to start in a badlands biome where we don't even have trees available. So will be quite challenging to get started in this world. There's another topic I want to talk about. I haven't really spent as much time on Minecraft as I did in previous years. Part of the reason was that I really got into Counter-Strike again. And I've also spent like 15,000 hours on Minecraft in the last six to seven years. 
which sometimes made the game become a little bit stale and I was searching for a new challenge again which I definitely found Counter-Strike. But it's a game that I actually played from around 2000 to 2002 and back then I stopped playing it because I just didn't have fun anymore with all the cheaters around. Unfortunately in the last 15 years apparently this problem wasn't really solved, there's a lot of cheaters around in the game which definitely sometimes spoils the fun but nevertheless I enjoy it a lot. Uh, so I spent roughly 18 hours the last one and a half years on playing Counter-Strike, which is a couple hours every day, which definitely yeah, takes away from the time I spent on Minecraft. So I still have a goal of reaching the highest rank in the game, Global Elite, which about 1% of the players have. Uh, of course, there's even better players than that that play Face It or Semi-Professional Leagues, so or there's also the professionals I can't compete with those. But yeah, my personal challenge is to get that rank. Currently, I'm the second highest rank Supreme, which I definitely think I belong in. But yeah, it's getting really rough uh, getting to a higher rank. So there's a lot of cheaters also now again in the highest ranks, which definitely spoils the fun. Um, but I'm really hopeful that we at some point get there. So my plan is definitely to keep playing Counter-Strike, but not to this extent anymore. Maybe cut back to an hour a day or so. Also really want to get back into Minecraft. I'm really looking forward to all the new projects. And to be honest, it was kind of hard balancing playing Peaceful and Psycraft at the same time. I'm not really the type that can focus on two big projects at the same time. It's always better if we focus on one thing alone. Alright, so that's it for the brief update. Hope you're also excited about all the new projects we're gonna start. And just want to thank you for all the support over the years and hopefully we'll be back in 2022 with more Minecraft content. And as I said, there will be another video today explaining this 4 before chunk challenge a little bit better. Alright, thanks guys for watching and see you hopefully soon again. Bye bye.